Hello, welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. It's so good to have you joining us once again. This is our channel, Escape Forever Free. Here we team together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If this is your first time, a very special welcome to you. If you are a returning um, visitor or a subscriber, an extra extra special welcome to you you all together makes this team more meaningful and stronger we're happy that you are teaming with us and we do hope that you'll invite others as you reap the benefits to come and reap with us too now this particular video right now as we speak is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide it aims to help us to build the healthy habit of spending one hour with god every single day so what you do here is you choose your best sacrificial time for the day or the week and you turn up at that time. Starting with this video, you follow through and then at the end, you continue for one hour, you and God alone. For this season of our one hour alone time kickstart devotional, we are using the Great Controversy, the 1888 edition. We also use the King James Version of the Bible in between those readings to complement, supplement, highlight, or clarify certain points that comes out at us in those readings. I also greatly encourage that you take this Holy Bible, the Holy Scriptures, as your main um, guide for um, searching and seeking after truth and light. It is indeed a blueprint to truth, light, and eternal life. Again, welcome to Escape Forever Free, and thanks for joining us on this journey as we step out on faith, or in faith, and with faith, to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. So, we're now going into a new chapter of the Great Controversy. We would have just ended chapter 16, The Pilgrim Fathers, and now we are going to engage in chapter 17 of The Great Controversy, which is entitled, Heralds of the Morning. So grab your 1880 edition, 1888 edition and join us in this um, new journey in the great controversy. All right, so we're going to pray and get straight into our routine. Holy and righteous Father, thank you so much for your gift of life, which will lend to us again. Father, we thank you for bringing us together to start this work week together as we put out the effort, Father, to draw near to you. We beg, Father, please draw near to us. For today, we beg of you, Father, forgive us of our sins, cleanse us from all our unrighteousness, empty us of all of our wicked and unkind ways, separate us, sever all the ties that we have with iniquity and help us to practice them no more. Father, we put our lives into your hands and we beg, Father, for today, please give us a daily portion we need to survive today victoriously. So if it is that today is our last breath at the whatever hour of this day, we will find ourselves, Father, resting in the arms of Jesus when he comes to call his children home. Father, we give you everything that we have and we pray that as we journey upon this earth, we will labor for souls like you did, Jesus Christ. And we pray that you'll pour out the blessing upon us even while we're here to cause us to rise and walk upon the high places of this earth as you promise to your faithful. Keep us faithful, we beg in Jesus' precious name. Amen. All right, so we're going to go straight into our memory text as we continue routine. Our memory text for this week comes to us from Revelation 17 and verse 14. Revelation 17 and verse 14 says, These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them, for he is Lord of lords and King of kings, and they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Again, Revelation 17 and verse 14 they shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is the Lord of lords and the King of kings, and they that are with him are the call and chosen and faithful. May God help us to recall this in due season, to glorify his name, and to edify souls, even our very own. So we're now going straight into chapter 17, Heralds of the Morning, in the great controversy so here we go one of the most oh by the way this starts at page starts at page um 299.1 299.1 one of the most solemn and yet 
most glorious truths revealed in the Bible is that of Christ's second coming to complete the great work of redemption. To God's pilgrim people so long left to sojourn in the quote-unquote region and shadow of death, end of quote, a precious joy-inspiring hope is given in the promise of his appearing who is, quote, the resurrection and the life, to bring home again his banished, end of quote. The doctrine of the second advent is the very keynote of the sacred scriptures. From the day when the first pair turned their soaring steps from Eden, the children of faith have waited, have waited the coming of the promised one to break the destroyer's power and bring them again to to the lost paradise holy men of old look forward to the advent of the messiah in of the messiah in in glory as the consummation of their hope enoch only the seventh in descent from them that dwelt in eden he who for three centuries on earth walked with God was permitted to behold from afar the coming of the deliverer. Quote, behold, he declared, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of saints to execute judgment and all. Of course, this is written in Jude 14 and 15. Let us read it. Turn your Bible pages. It's Jude 14 and 15. You know, there's only one chapter of Jude, right? So verses 14 and 15. It says, And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him that's the reading there from the scripture continuing from the great controversy now the patriarch job in the night of his affliction exclaimed with unshaken trust quote i know that my redeemer liveth and that he shall stand and that he shall stand at that latter day it is written of course in job 19 verses 25 to 27 let us read it from the scripture itself turn the pages job 19 and we're reading verses 25 to 27 all right so job 19 verses 25 to 27 says for i know that my redeemer liveth and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth and though after my skin worms destroy this body yet in my flesh i shall see god whom i shall see for myself and mine eyes shall behold and not another though my reins be con consumed within me all right end of reading of course here to comment we know that's when job was going through his crucible of a most excruciating and extreme experience ever to be recorded upon the history of this earth and he survived it and was blessed more than seven folds what he would have had before and even before his um, tribulation he was a very wealthy man so faithfulness to god pays whether now or later or both let us continue to read from this from the um the controversy the coming of christ to usher in the reign of righteousness has inspired the most sublime and impassioned utterances of the sacred writers the poets and prophets of the bible have dwelt upon it in words glowing with celestial fire the psalmist song of the power and majesty of israel's king he sung in psalms 50 verses 2 to 4 out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him. 
and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. These were the psalmist's words. He also um, spoke in Psalm 96 verses 11 to 13. And it says, find it for me, Psalm 96 verses 11 to 13. Let's share this expression together. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the fields be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before the Lord. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Continuing to read from the pages of the controversy, said the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 26 verses 19 and also, um, let us go to 19 first. It says, thy dead men shall live together with my dead body shall they arise, awake and sing ye that dwell in dust for the dew is as the dew of herbs and the earth shall cast out the dead also isaiah 25 and verse 8 and 9 find it for me isaiah 25 verses 8 and 9 and it says he will swallow up death in victory and the lord god will wipe away tears from all faces and the rebuke of his people shall he take away from all the earth for the lord hath spoken it and it shall be said in that day lo this is our god we have waited for him and he will save us this is the lord we have waited for him we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation amen so here we see the readings um coming to show the glory and the awesomeness with which god's people await his return of course even just very recently a friend and i who is not a christian was talking about the same long wait let us all understand we can go into deeper depths to examine this that this long wait is by no way um an indifference by God to our sufferings and our and our pain in sin, it actually is an extension of his mercy so that as many of us as is possible with our stubborn and wayward hearts might yield to his salvation and be saved and re receive eternal life. May we be able to get into this detail one day so you can truly see the love of God even in the sufferings that we're experiencing through the devil um, because of the devil in this earth we go now to our meditational hymn as we try to quickly bring this to a close not to extend our time too long our new hymn for this chapter is hymn number 205 gleams of the golden morning we do stanza one the golden morning is fast approaching jesus soon will come to take his faithful and happy children to their promised home oh we see the gleams of the golden morning piercing through this night of gloom oh we see the gleams of the golden morning that shall burst the tomb amen we start to sing songs like these you don't want to stop until you've done all the stanzas but we stop here let us pray Holy Righteous Father, thank you so much for giving us a song that encourages us to look forward to the gleams of the golden morning. Father, as we continue in preparation mode under the umbrella of probation, Father, help us to waste no time but to work out our salvation with fear and trembling oh father we beg and pray that as we continue to read from the pages of this great controversy seeing how it is that these pilgrims of the dark ages overcome death and the grave 
partially and and of course victoriously promised when you return Jesus Christ may we too labor earnestly with honest unbiased without crit critis, um, without hypocrisy and discrimination maybe we we'll worship you in spirit and in truth and find ourselves among father the faithful fathers when you return to call your children children home when the gleam of the golden morning will burst into absolute glorious brightness father may we be among the saints in jesus precious name we beg may none of us here who so desire to be be missing from that glorious experience we pray in jesus precious name amen let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight O lord our strength and our redeemer please continue to commune with god you and god alone for one hour and remember earnestly devotedly search the holy scriptures the blueprint given to, to us to guide us into eternal life as well as to help others to come into the same god bless you and see you very soon God's willing in our next video.